Hello and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese for this first round matchup between Dave Cavanaugh and Chase Brown. Will, these athletes are separated by a number of years, but they're pretty close in skill. Absolutely. Both of these competitors are very strong, had very strong performances last season, and this will be a true test of the old generation versus the new generation. Well, let's tell you how it works. Both athletes have sent us a two-minute grip gauntlet, and it will be up to you and only you to determine who will move on based on creativity, variety, difficulty, and wow factor. Yes, that's right. And remember, everyone, this is not a popularity contest. I repeat, not a popularity contest. You are the judge and jury for who moves on to the semifinals and who gets sent packing home and eliminated. Well, let's meet our two ninjas who will be participating in this first round matchup. For the past several seasons, Chase Brown has been one of the NNL's highest point scorers. Having earned the most points in the Young Adult Male Division in Season 4 and the Adult Male Division in Season 5. But his performances are impressive, too. He won 8 out of the 14 competitions he competed in as a young adult, and has already picked up his first elite win at Grips in October. Dave Cavanaugh is one of the most respected ninjas on both sides of the competition. In addition to being the co-founder and event coordinator at TA Fitness, Dave is a force to be reckoned with in competition, finishing in the top two in four of his five competitions in Season 5, earning him the top spot in the Season 5 Power Rankings, and he made it deep into Stage 2 at the 2020 NNL World Championship. Will, these two athletes have lit up the NNL scene over the years. Absolutely. I am... Honestly, looking forward to seeing how they do, because when you have two strong competitors like we have here, you can only hope for good things. All right. Well, let's let the good things not wait. That was not a sentence, but I'm rolling with it. Here is Chase Brown. Want to redo that? No. Okay. Hello, my name is Chase Brown. Um, I was second in total points in the NNL last season, and this is my grip gauntlet. See how it goes. Chase letting us know exactly why he is in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing my job. And he's in his basement, it appears. Yeah. Hey, you know what? The rules doesn't say you have to do it in a specific area or in a gym. If you have an impressive grip gauntlet in your house, you are 100% free to use it. And that is what he is doing as he is coasting through these very difficult holds into some cannonball hooks, and they're onto runners, actually, which yeah. I feel like makes it a little bit more difficult. Definitely, definitely a little bit more difficult because those runners can, can, they can, they can move. They can change their shape. And now moving on to some pegs. I think those are thick pegs, actually. Yeah. Because if you look, where he's holding is a lot thicker than the applicator. Absolutely. There's definitely some some girth there. And yeah, so now also went down. <laughs> where is he going to go? Looks like he's going back after a brief uh, talk to the camera. Yeah. Style points a little bit, I, I guess you can say. Going to be interesting. He moves back to the cannonball. So he now can go. Now for rings. Exactly. Let's see how quickly he can get through this area. Non-traditional pegs, but hey, if it works, it works. Yeah, I mean, it is a basement course after all, and it looks like he's going for a dismount. There you go. So Chase going with the underground kind of gauntlet, but I, I like the feel of it. Yes, it's definitely different than what we've seen. But honestly, what better way to social distance than to not go to a gym at all and stay th in your own personal bubble? I guess you're right. As for the obstacles, they were pretty simple, but they were pretty difficult. Absolutely. I think the effectiveness and the homeliness is what he was going for and perhaps might give him the edge in the competition. Well, we'll have to see when we take a look at Dave Cavanaugh's gauntlet. Dave is going to get a running start. Okay. Ooh. Big swing there. This is 
the second time we've seen the trampoline. Now into the Devil Steps. I stand corrected. Even harder, we're going with a series of holds. Oh, it is a Devil Steps, but it's it's a it's a grip gauntlet of hold Devil Step variation. Love it. Watch out for that rope, Dave. And now a more traditional Devil Steps going down onto some simple rope grabs, probably to set up the next area. Oh, hold on, that is a ninety degree sky hook. Absolutely, that and is think a number one. Absolutely, some fantastic hand-eye coordination on David's part. We're now going to some giant circuit board. Yeah. All about maneuvering those handles through the maze of gaps and holes. Let's see how quickly you can get through this section. On to the Lachey. I assume he's headed for that 45 degree wing nut, and he catches it. Another 45 degree wing nut upcoming. By the way, doing all of this with a mask, I can't even yeah. imagine. Yeah, this is some very impressive examples of changing your body position mid swing. Very impressive. Coming up to the last flywheel and dismount. Great job. Dave going for some big high flying moves in that gauntlet. That certainly had the wow factor. Yes, yes. Uh, Dave putting on a strong performance using a good percentage of the gym, going for some very difficult holds uh, early on and just finishing off with some very impressive changing directions midair throughout the entire thing. Uh, it's a very strong performance overall. I thought these were two very strong performances. But how about we go to two very strong talkers now in Lucio Batista and Henry Farrar and tell you how you should feel about these two gauntlets. Yes, yes. Thank you for that transition, Alex. So, it, Henry, it Lucio are two ninja experts. They're not just good at talking. They're good at ninja, too. That's why we brought them on. Let's start with Chase. And we're going to start with Lucio this time around. Lucio. Chase, we didn't get we don't get to see this very often, but we got to see a home course. What did you think of his course? I thought it was good. He had a lot of interesting, um, effective obstacles um, for a home course. I did like, like for instance, the one thing he was uh, going to runners with the hook grips, which is tough because a runner, unlike a, an actual loop to go through, can change its shape as you go for it. So that was definitely tough. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more dynamic movement. I think that's a little difficult in a home gym, especially without uh, proper matting. Um, but I, I would knock his score a little bit for that. Um, although it was super impressive with a lot of static strength obstacles and hand-eye coordination, that's my one biggest ding on his um, his course run. As, as someone who builds obstacles yourself, is there anything you would recommend him adding to his basement? Um, like I said, I would just personally suggest, first of all, it's always down to the safety. So getting some form of good mat, uh, matting underneath, and then just being able to do some kind of more dynamic throwing movements would be awesome. But pretty much that's really it. All right. Uh, Henry, how were you feeling Chase's basement, uh, gauntlet? Well, first off, it's pretty cool to see a, uh, a basement course. It's always, always cool to see how ninjas train when they're at home. Um, cause I'm sure he's got a lot stronger on that course. Wasn't too impressed. Um, when I see these grip gauntlets, I'm obviously making for the full two minutes he did. Um, and then that combination of seeing and seeing dynamic moves and static moves of high difficulty, that's what does it for me. And yes, super looked, I never tried it cause I probably can't do it, but the, the hook, the cannonball hooks onto directly onto runners, super high difficulty. Besides that, nothing else too impressive um and no real dynamic movement so um uh again amazing job on the uh on the runner hooks but besides that not too impressed if if possible if chase was to move on to the next round do you think he should uh, change locations yes um if he if he had an area where he was higher up the ground i'm sure he would have because chase is an amazing athlete and I'm sure he would have thrown in some big laches or some big dynamic moves. Just I like seeing I like seeing ninjas fly through the air, 
And, right. uh, and, and again, he didn't really fight there at all. But again, it was amazing static grip strength. All right. So moving on to Dave's run. Uh, you mentioned that you like to see ninjas flying through the air. How would you rate Dave's flying ability? Now talk about flying through the air. I was just wow factor from the very start. Hits the trampoline. Takes a giant swing. Giant swing to that big throw. Uh, amazing. And, and then I'm like, all right, well, now it's going to probably die down a little. No, but things got even more difficult. Um, he goes to the ascending grip gauntlet. He, he throws, oh, man, very, very impressive run all the way through. Even his finish, um, the no-lip flywheel, just everything was just amazing. Uh, Lucio, um, do you think that there's any part that Dave could improve on on his course? Wow, that's really tough. Um... I, I really, I mean, I think there's always room with all of us as ninjas. Um, one thing that I must say that it was incredibly impressive on Dave's part is the um, completely 90 degree turns on the um, rings when he was throwing those through the sky hooks. That was, that was immensely impressive. So super technical and super difficult. So that's like a huge wow factor just on that obstacle alone. Um, he gave us a huge variety of different grips, utilizing his fingertips, his vertical grip. I mean, it, it was impressive. Even some of those things, if you look closely, some of those grips on the ascending devil steps were um, slip textured. So just overall, really impressive variety. And if he were to move on to the next round, what would you like to see from Dave in the semifinals? I'd like to see Dave throw down something that's like, extra fingertip intensive I, I know dave's got it in him i want to see big vertical limit move or, or something like that i, I think he's got it in him. maybe like a huge like 180 cliffhanger throw um especially in his gym it lends to it so let's see it yeah i agree let's see a crazy cliffhanger but lucio sticking with you very simple question dave chase who won dave's got it all the way he he threw it down the variety was there the factor was there the difficulty was there I'm going with dave all right henry same question this one's easy for me hands down dave uh only advice i'd give to dave for for the next round is keep doing what you're doing but go even bigger my dude very very impressed with your run uh you got my vote all right so it looks like our pair of experts agree in dave cavanaugh had the better run but here's the thing their opinion doesn't actually matter. What does matter is your opinion, the viewing audience. Go click on the link in the description down below to go to the poll and vote for who you actually thought had the better grip gauntlet. Was it David or was it Chase? Please let us know. Make your voices heard so that way the correct winner moves on. And we hope that you'll join us for many more NNL Pro Tournament competitions. We have another one coming up in just a couple days, and we hope you'll join us. Take care.